thought I'd make a quick video, short video about uh, the cameras I use for my film photography. Um, start off with this one here. This is the Yashica Electro 35 GTN camera. Uh, I'll just quickly show you around this camera. If you start on the top, you've got your film advance. And here you've got your, your shutter release button and a locking mechanism as well. Just here you've got your ASA control dial for whichever film speed you're using. These two lights show if you're over or underexposed. You've got your flash hot shoe there and your film rewind knob as well. Okay, so let's open the back and look at the camera. This is where you load the film. You pull the film across onto these sprockets, wind it forward slightly and then close the lid and advance to the first frame of the film. Looking at the front of the camera now, this is the viewfinder here. This is a rangefinder camera, so this is the viewfinder. Um, when you look through the viewfinder, it kind of looks something like this. You've got to focus within that triangle. You've got to try and bring the two parallels together. A uh, typical rangefinder from its day. And uh, so that's, uh, that's the focusing system. If we look at the lens, the lens is absolutely pin sharp this this lens i can't fault it it's a 45 millimeter uh, yashica or yashinon dx lens and this camera is aperture priority so there's no you can't you can't control the shutter speed it controls the shutter speed for you so there's your aperture selection there and it also gives you an indication of cloudy sunny or indoors and on the outside ring you can select if you're shooting flash auto or bulb it's got a great little timer on it. You have to cock the uh, or, or advance the film first, and then pull this lever down on the lens. And when you press the shutter, it times to 10 seconds or whatever. Uh, and it's very quiet as well. It's a leaf shutter, so I'll just let you listen to that. So, how do you know if you're over or under exposed? These two lights on top of the camera, you'll see one says over and one says slow. If uh, if you're overexposed, you press the shutter release halfway down and it will light red. If you're underexposed, you press the shutter release halfway down and it will light orange. Um, and it says slow because if you're underexposed, it's going to be using a slower shutter speed. That's why it says slow. Um, and if you're correctly exposed, you won't see any lights pop up. And finally, on the back of the camera is your normal uh, battery battery compartment, uh, a grip screw, and also your film rewind button. Okay, let's move on to the Pentax Spotmatic F. This is one of my favourite 35 mils. It's it's very heavy, and it feels really good in your hand to use. Let's have a look at the front of the camera. Uh, first of all, let's look at the timer. Uh, if we you have to advance first, advance the film first, pull this knob right down and then press that little button underneath and that will go on for I think 10 seconds. Let's look at the top of the camera. So this is the film advanced handle, this is your shutter button and this is your shutter speed dial here. It goes from one second all the way to 1000 and it's also got a bulb mode. And if you lift it up and turn it, you've got your ASA uh, selection there. It's got a hot shoe for flash and obviously the rewind for the film. And these other little parts on, on the rewind button, it's just um, two indicators really. Don't do anything, just indicators for which film you've got and how many exposures you've got. Is it colour or black and white film? Um, it's also detachable, you can take the lens off and put different lenses on like a like any SLR back in the day. Um, let's go on to the viewfinder, have a look through there, you can see uh, there's a needle there and that needle is telling me the correct exposure level, so if it's in the middle I'm pretty much got correct exposure. And again on the bottom of the camera you've got your battery compartment, your grip and your film rewind. But yeah, one fantastic little camera, this Spotmatic. I love, I love using this one. Let's move on now to the Nikon FX90. 
So this uh, SLR camera is from the 1990s and we're kind of creeping up towards the digital era, in, era now. It does everything for you, just like a DSLR. Um, on the top of the camera here, you've got your, your ISO, your drive, your mode and your flash um, on and off button. And you've got a nice display there as well with the light. Um, and you can use it in manual, auto, aperture priority, shutter priority. The back of the camera, you open it here. Your film goes in there and you just pull the film across. You don't even have to load it, load it into the sprocket. It's just as the film comes across, you just close it and the camera winds it on itself. It takes four AA batteries and that controls the light meter, autofocus and film advance. So that's the Nikon F90X. Okay, finally on to the medium format camera. This is a Mamiya 645. Uh, at the moment it's got no clothes on. So let's bring in the lens film holder the viewfinder and all this is detachable so let's uh, put it all together and see what it looks like okay so on top of the Mamiya 645 you've got your shutter speed dial and that goes from a fourth of a second all the way to one thousandth of a second and it's also got bulb mode on it you can put a prism on it so you can see through like a viewfinder but I like to use this little pop-up one here this is for manual winding. Down here is the shutter release button and you've also got a timer on there that works quite well. On the other side of the camera, uh, you've got the mirror up. That's quite handy for if you're doing long exposures on a tripod. Um, you, can have the, you can have the mirror up so when you fire the shutter, it doesn't shake the camera at all. It's kind of silent mode if you like. Um, on the back, this is how we take the film holder off the back there. And you open it up and inside that's where you load your film it back in close the lid that's the slide for protecting the film the camera won't fire if that slides in and the good thing about this is you can load three or four of these holders and take them with you and when you're finished just replace it refinish replace it finish replace it um, on the top of the film holder you've got your IS ASA selector now if we have a look on top you can see through the viewfinder there um, and of course everything's reversed when you when you're shooting this camera everything's upside down on topsy turvy so it takes a bit of getting used to so that's the Mamiya 645 takes 120 film and the size of the negatives are six centimeters by four and a half centimeters so it's kind of entry level to medium format so there you have it there's my favorite cameras that I use when I'm shooting film um, probably out of the 35 mils, it would be the Pentax that I use the most. Um, but if I'm doing any sort of street photography or anything like that, I generally take the rangefinder with me. And the Nikon, I take it if I feel lazy. And if I want to go and shoot something that I intend to print big, I'll use the medium format Mamiya. So there you go, there's my cameras, and uh, thanks for watching.